Today we will gonna cover the show Zyall and Showdown from beginning to end. Zyall and Showdown is an American animated television series with 52 episodes starting in 2003 and ending in 2006. The show tells about four teenagers from different parts of the world who are chosen to be the next generation of Zyall and Dragons. Their mission is to search for the Shen Gongwu magical objects with mystical powers that were placed around the world by the legendary Grand Master Dashi and bring them to safety before the Hail and Side get them and use them for evil. Each one of the four dragons has an elemental power, fire, water, earth and wind. While the Xiaolin and the Halen sides are in an unstoppable battle for the Shen Gong Wu, the good side also needs to take care of a lot of thieves that are trying to steal the Wu for themselves. When two or more people reach one Shen Gong Wu at the same time, it starts a Xiaolin showdown, a mystical battle in which each player bets a Shen Gong Wu, and they fight against each other. The winner takes all the Shen Gong Wu wagered. So without any further ado let's jump right in. Four young monks, Omi, Kimiko, Raimundo, and Clay, are forced into cooperation at the Xiaolin Temple after learning they are the chosen ones, monks chosen to become Xiaolin dragons. At first things are difficult, but soon they become friends and are able to work together to search for Shen Gong Wu. Along the way, they must battle the bumbling Jack Spicer, evil boy genius, and the Halen ghost witch Wuya, who Jack accidentally freed from a 1500 year imprisonment in a puzzle box. Through thievery, Spicer eventually possesses enough Shen Gong Wu to form Mala Mala Zhang, an ancient monster that Wuya uses to help her gain control of the world. Raimundo defies orders and fights the monster, causing the remaining monks to fight and defend the remaining Shen Gong Wu in the temple's possession. All the monks, except for Raimundo, are promoted to Xiaol and apprentices due to their bravery. Enraged and humiliated, Raimundo joins the Halen side as Wuya's new assistant and helps her regain her human form. Omi travels back in time and receives a second puzzle box from Grand Master Dashi, the Xiaolin monk who initially trapped Wuya. However, with no way back to the future, he freezes himself using the Orb of Tornami. In the present time, the frozen Omi, buried underneath Wuya's palace for 1500 years, breaks free of the ice with the puzzle box in hand. Raimundo, repulsed by the Halen side, decides that his rightful place belongs in the Xiaolin temple and traps Wuya in the new puzzle box. After returning to the temple, the monks continue the search for Shen Gong Wu. Eventually, Master Feng promotes Raimundo to Xiaolin apprentice along with the others. After this, the monks are introduced to Xiaolin monk turned evil villain Chase Young. Chase takes an interest in Omi and becomes determined to manipulate the young monk's mind into joining the Halen side. When Master Feng becomes trapped in the Ying Yang world, Omi asks for help from Chase. He succeeds in rescuing Master Feng, but upon leaving the Ying Yang world, his bad Kai takes over and he joins the Halen side. Chase restores Wuya to her human form, though he takes her powers. The remaining monks soon learn that Chase had sent Master Feng into the Ying Yang world knowing the events that would unfold afterwards, including Omi joining his side. The monks, Dojo, and Jack Spicer, travel to the Ying Yang world to retrieve Omi's good Kai and return him to the Xiaolin side. However, Jack Spicer ends up leaving his good Kai and reverts to a villain. After returning Omi's good Kai to him and gaining him back, the monks are promoted yet again to Wudai warriors. They are then introduced to Hannibal Roy Bean, an evil villain who lives in the Ying Yang world and was responsible for turning Chase Young evil. Toward the end of their journey, Master Feng tells the monks that they have one final quest before the Shoku warrior will be revealed. Omi decides that he will stop Hannibal Bean from turning Chase to the Halen side. He ends up freezing himself in order to travel to the future to find the sands of time. And through time travel, he succeeds by switching the Lao Mang Long Soup with Pea Soup. However, when Omi returns to his present time, he learns that his actions have made things worse instead of Chase joining the Halen side. It is Master Monk Guan whom Hannibal Bean turns evil after failing to turn Chase evil. The monks and Chase are captured by Hannibal Bean, Wuya, and the evil Guan. Chase sacrifices his good self to save the monks and give them the opportunity to fight and return everything to the way it was. The monks succeed, and the timeline is fixed. At the end of the series, Raimundo, who willingly attempted to turn evil for his comrades, as well as succeeding the final Xiaol in Showdown, is revealed as the team leader, also known as Shoku Warrior. The series concludes with every villain attacking the temple, and the Wudai warriors led by the Shoku Warrior proceeding to counterattack. So after finishing the storyline of Xiaol and Showdown from beginning to end, Let's discuss about the characteristics of all main characters. Omi the Xiaolin Dragon of Water Omi is the main protagonist of the series and was the first dragon in training to train with Master Feng. At times Omi can be selfish and boastful and often learns lessons of humility. Like Raimundo, Omi once joined the Halen. Having been raised in the monastery, he is naive about the outside world. 
As a running gag, Omi routinely confuses idiomatic phrases, from simple changes to lacking any resemblance to the original phrase whatsoever. In one situation, Raimundo used Omi's inability to recite idioms as an analogy about how they would defeat Jack Spicer. Omi's signature moves are Tsunami Strike Water, Tornado Strike Water, and Wudai Neptune Water. His Wudai weapon is the Shimo Staff, and his elemental Shen Gong Wu is the Kaijin Charm. His preferred Shen Gong Wu is the Orb of Tornami as it is a water Shen Gong Wu. Kimiko Tohamiko, the Xiaolan Dragon of Fire, Kimiko Tohamiko is the only female member of the team. Kimiko is the most tech-savvy member of the team and comes from Japan. Kimiko also changes hairstyles and outfits almost every episode. Kimiko's signature moves are Judalette Flip Fire and Wudai Mars Fire. Her preferred Shen Gong Wu is the Star Hanabi, her Wudai weapon is the Arrow Sparrow, and her elemental Shen Gong Wu is the Cat's Eye Draco. She has the shortest temper, generally at even the slightest provocation. She can however be extremely focused and ignore outer, annoying, distractions. This is evidenced when she wields the Tangle Web Comb, said by Master Fung to require high levels of concentration. Raimundo Pedrosa, the Xiaolan Dragon of Wind, Raimundo may be stubborn and self-centered but he will do anything to protect his friends. Raimundo is street smart and the group's self-proclaimed rebel. He comes from Brazil from the city Rio de Janeiro. He has joined the Halen side twice. Raimundo's signature moves are Typhoon Boom Wind and Wudai Star Wind. His preferred Shen Gong Wu is the Sword of the Storm. His Wudai weapon is the Blade of the Nebula, and his elemental Shen Gong Wu is the Crest of the Condor. He was named Shoku Warrior in the episode Time After Time, the last Xiaol and Showdown episode. It is repeatedly implied that he has a crush on Kimiko. Clay Bailey, the Xiaolan Dragon of Earth. Clay Bailey is the team muscle and a homegrown Texas cowboy. Clay sometimes speaks in cowboy slang and uses metaphors. Because of his good gentleman manners, he never fights girls. He also has a bad case of stage fright. His large size and sensible demeanor belittles his good-humored and gentle nature. The only time he gets really mad is if someone takes or destroys his beloved cowboy hat. Clay has a sister named Jessie who is an outlaw and leader of the Black Vipers. Clay's signature moves are Seismic Kick Earth and Wudai Crater Earth. His preferred Shen Gong Wu are the Fist of Tebigong and the Third Arm Sash. His Wudai weapon is the Big Bang Meteoric, and his elemental Shen Gong Wu is the Longhorn Taurus. Dojo Kanojo Cho, a shapeshifting dragon. The Xiaolan warrior's main mode of transportation and wise-cracking advisor, Dojo can sense Shen Gong Wu. He has no hind legs and is normally about 1.5 feet long. But when the situation requires it, he can shift into a full-sized 40-feet dragon. He has served Grandmaster Dashi. Dojo is often seen around Clay in the show, hanging around his arm, sitting on his shoulder or inside his cowboy hat. When Dojo is out of commission, the Xiaolan warriors use an aircraft Shen Gong Wu called the Silver Manta Ray, or the other transport Shen Gong Wu such as the Crouching Cougar, the Shen Garu, or the Tunnel Armadillo. Jack Spicer, the Xiaolan warrior's first and most annoying nemesis. Jack Spicer is notable for his robotic engineering, long rants, overuse of the word evil and his repetitive self-proclamation of evil boy genius. He was responsible for releasing Wuya from the puzzle box that Grand Master Dashi locked her in, and aids her in finding Shen Gong Wu to conquer the world. Jack has aided the Xiaolan warriors on occasion, and does show occasional leanings toward good. However, he always winds up back on the evil side. As a reflection of his character, his preferred Shen Gong Wu is the Monkey Staff, which was the only Shen Gong Wu he is left with at the end of the series. He is shown to have a hard past that explains his cowardly nature and worst fear. Metaphorically, he is afraid of rejection. Jack Spicer has shown to be a big fan of Chase Young, Wuya, a 15-year-old Halen witch who was once the most powerful being in the universe. She also serves as the principal antagonist to the Xiaolan. After being imprisoned in a puzzle box by Grandmaster Dashi for 1,500 years, Wuya's physical form was destroyed. Her goal is to use the Shen Gong Wu to regain a tangible body and along with it her magical powers. She, like Dojo, has the ability to sense a Shen Gong Wu's appearance, but does not need the scroll of the Shen Gong Wu to determine what it does. At one point she leaves Jack to take on Raimundo as a partner but after much debate he returns to the path of good. Chase Young, introduced in the second season as an even bigger evil threat than Jack. Chase Young controls an army of the Ryanthropic warriors, trapped in the form of jungle cats, and has the ability to turn into a reptilian creature. Chase rarely uses Shen Gong Wu in battle since he claims it distracts him from honing his martial arts skills. During the second season of the show, Chase plots to turn Omi to the Halen side as part of a plot to rule the world. He succeeds but releases Omi as a matter of honor. He himself was turned to the Halen side when Hannibal Bean convinced him to drink the Lao Mang Long soup in return for remaining forever young. So that's it and that's all, so if you love the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let us know in which series you want the next video. Thanks for watching, sayonara.